What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your week's turning out good. Don't forget overtime on Friday night. We'll probably go in detail um, Friday night a little bit onto this video here. This is something I've been playing around with for a while. They have been tracking some of this stuff. And I'm calling it the 10,000 PSA 10 Exclusive Club. Now, we're only talking about certain cards graded by PSA 10 that are, you know, um, that graded out as a PSA 10. And they have to have over 10,000 of them in population. Keep in mind that Beckett's probably graded a good chunk, SGC, and probably some other groups out there as well, too. So, as the market has become what we call a soft market, I say it's pretty much leveled out right now, you've seen where cards have dropped a lot. And some of the people might have paid double, triple the price on to what the current price of some of these cards are today. Um, with that being said, let me grab this up so we can show everybody here. There we go. So this is the list here. It's 10 of them, and we got one more that's creeping up there. These were numbers all as of July 1st, so uh, some of the numbers may be up, and this is what they were prior to it. But if you look... Number one on the list, the Kuna Tops update. A lot of people went out there grading those Akunas because people started thinking the same time frame. Well, look what Mike Trout rookies have done. Difference is, when Mike Trout's rookies came out, nobody could even sell them for $30, $40. I remember this. Now, a lot of them probably got damaged, tossed away. Could Anything could have happened. And plus, it wasn't probably as highly produced as it is now. But that's the biggest one that's out there right now is the Akuna Tops update. You're talking over 18,000 PSA 10s. That's a lot of cards. The great out there. That's not including all the 9s, 8s, 7s, the whole way down to 1. And this is just the base. No um, gold or bat up and all that other stuff. Bat down, all the other variations, SPS, SPs. Just a straight rookie card. So by looking at that there, you kind of could judge, even if Acuna is doing pretty good this season, why the prices have dropped. There's just so many out there in circulation right now. Number two on the list, Zion Rookie Cards from Prism. That's why whenever I had mine, I was selling them between 800 and I think it was high, it was 1100 on them. I kept one just for myself because... Overall, what I had invested in the product, I, I made way over my fold into it and everything. But a lot of them out there, I, I mean, those things were some money. Now you're looking probably anywhere around 360 380 for a PSA 10. Not to say how many is out there again in Beckett that was graded 9 fives and then also 10s out there. Well, 10s will be a little more scarce, but I'm just grouping that all together so you guys can see. Soto. Update, another one just like Acuna up there high. Luca Base Prism Rookies. Look at the numbers out there. It, it's insane on what that's going for. John Morant, another Prism, because this is when everybody started seeing them spikes. They started throwing all these cards out there to get graded. And now that these are coming back, I mean, people aren't fetching nearly as what they were a long time ago. Tatis, another one over 14,000. Petey Alonzo over 13. What a surprise to the 89 Tops Trinity Griffey. Over 12,000 PSA 10s. I mean, I got eight on behind me I want to send out. I think they're averaging around 110, 120 for PSA 10 now. So a lot of those out there. A lot. Gavin Lux, rookies from Tops, over 11,000. Tiger Woods over 10. And we're almost up there for LeBron. At this time, it might be over 10000 But I wanted to show this to everybody because it's really interesting because a lot of people are, are out there trying to chase some of this stuff. And, I mean, if you could buy it now or you, I think with the market being where it is, you might be a little bit safe. You might still see some decline. But overall, that's a lot of cards out there these guys graded. And what's funny is, is when I go to these shows... I almost never see Luka Doncic Prism Rookie PSA 10s out here. But you go to any of the other shows, and they're loaded all over the place. All those cards. The only one I probably don't see a lot of is the Griffey. But every other one of those on there, I see tons of them between dealers, and they're just not moving now. 
The idea was originally when we had the spike, I loaded all, almost all my stuff. It's like this. I think offhand, I just got rid of my last two Tatises. I think I sold them at one seventy nine a pop, and I literally was getting those at like forty dollars a piece off of Facebook groups. So I mean, it was good money. Same with Akuna. I think I have one Akuna left. I just kept one Zion. Uh, the rest of my, I mean, I got the the raw griffies that i got but i only have like i think it's 24 bucks invested in like eight or nine of them back there but pretty crazy when you start thinking about it and seeing the numbers overall and this is just from one company graded out as a 10 a lot out there and you can start seeing why a lot of stuff is kind of being stale people aren't buying these if they are you know as people don't have them or they sold them high and now they're getting you know two or three back for the price they sold one you know that that was the whole thing with the market a lot of people dumped a lot of people didn't buy back in unless it was new product i mean i was honestly one of them i sold a lot and i just been recently buying now to where i'm starting to refill my inventory up got a lot of pc stuff i, I didn't really buy any pc stuff i'd probably say since I want to say it's probably about August, maybe last year offhand. Maybe August offhand. And that, that's really a long time for me to buy anything for it's uh, PC related. But I, you know what? No, I did buy a Crosby autograph off of somebody who gave me a good deal. And I think that was around October. So I take it back. But regardless of that, this is some high population stuff out there. So just keep that in mind if you have this stuff. Um, odds of it going up extremely high again is going to be very, very slim. Because there's, it's just plentiful out there. Unlike the trout rookies where, like I said, a lot of people threw them in boxes or whatever it may be, dinged up corners. So, you know, there's not going to be 10,000 PSA 10 trout rookie cards out there from... Uh, Tops traded the bases. I know it's a high number still on them, but it's still not anything like this. And the thing is, a lot of people still have this stuff sitting in PSA to be graded. And it's going to be interesting to see where these numbers actually settle at by the end of the year. So I want to do something up a little bit different on the video just to start having um, people thinking about this stuff, especially if you've been looking to buy in this. It, there's some high pops out there onto it. Really, really high. Now, like I said, this is one company rated a PSA 10. We don't know how many SGC 10s are out there. Beckett 9.5s. Even we'll throw Beckett 10s in with the two, even though that's going to be a lower pop. But it just gives you an idea of how much it got graded over this last year. And as people stop buying or starting to look for, you know, your serial number cards and autographs again, where this stuff's starting to take a back burner on to it until. You know, maybe five, ten years down the road, we have another little um, surge, and the stuff might go up some then. But with the high pop counts, it also makes you think how much this stuff was produced and how much they're producing currently of cards. Eventually, there's going to be a lot of, I guess you could say, unopened boxes and cases out there, certain products for probably decades because it was just overproduced. People got tired of grading it out. I mean, trying to search for that needle in a haystack of a Trout Auto out of 25, out of, you know, what's out there. Kind of hard, kind of hard. But let me know what you guys think. This was a little bit something different of a video idea I had, and I wanted to get it out. Uh, we'll probably hit into this a little bit on uh, Overtime Friday night. I know some people might have some questions or some insight on it as well, too. So if you guys are free, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday night, stop by. If not, it'll probably be about a two-hour stream. So if you guys want to watch the uh, video after it's done, please do. I know you probably want to forward a little bit through it because there'll be different sections of us just going around on different things. But all right, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. And I'll talk to you all later.